Blair Witch. Witch. Blair Witch, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, Mr. Natsume is back. Don't you mean Mr. Natsume is back? Because <laughs> <laughs> that sure is his back. So he is. Mr. Natsume, hello? This is bad. Nope. Nope. I am a cat. Sorry? I don't know who Mr. Natsume is, or Lock Sholmes. I don't know about cores or trials or a baby. I'm a cat. That's what I am. Just a cat. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Natsume, though, he's trying to escape from reality. Trying to? He already has. Completely. Guy's delusional. So, um, what is your name, Mr. Natsume! Mr. Nadahodo, I think he's a furry. Oh, see, I have no name. Oh, not my that was the first like. time we heard that sound bite. Uh, I'm sure we've heard that before somewhere. I don't remember. Uh, no, in a minor? Uh, not. I, I, it does sound familiar, though. I think we've heard that before. Also, uh, again, his novel, I Am a Cat, right? Mm -hmm. and all that. The exact quote. Mr. Nadahoto, I'm now confirmed. <laughs> I now know that he is a furry for sure. <laughs> his persona is a cat. He hasn't fully thought of his new identity yet. Maybe it's not too late to bring him back to reality. Do you think. I mean, you you don't want open... him to become another kin. Just open your eyes for us, Mr. Natsume. It's immediate panics. I am not a cat. <laughs> it worked! He's back in the real world. Hooray! Ah, so tough! Yay! Um, <laughs> Time to go back to the time. court! What, 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 what's going to become me? No! Don't answer that! It's obvious! My castle is never going to escape this accursed fate! Oh, I'm sure you'll never be in court again after this. <laughs> Mr. Natsume, no, this morning's proceedings in court proved that there's hope. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, so we uh, oh, Quiet was brilliant, but, 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 uh, the Reaper's omnipresent in court in my lodgings. Is he here, though? Here, there, everywhere. Is this Reaper in the room with us right now? I was about to say. Tell me why the Reaper. I do not had... like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. <laughs> What's he looking straight at me for? I think perhaps there are some things we should discuss. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it must. Yeah. Uh, Move. <laughs> run. Bye. Run right now. <laughs> This morning's trial. May my whole life never be so, so moved as I was today. No. Really? Of course. If I cast my mind back, though, or perhaps one or two other occasions that move me more. <laughs> but if I just block this out, then today, maybe the 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 was. It was the most moving experience of my life. You're too kind. <laughs> I understood half of that. Something you're to have remaining tea just to read the deuce to enter analyzing it as we speak. Ah, oh, you mean the coins. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that tea. You won't find a drop of poison in it. That's a. That's a. Well, I'm sworn Sussex uncertainty. It's gonna have poison in it, isn't it? Someone else put it. Tell me, did you both drink tea at the same time that night? Oh, yes, most definitely. Remember, drink tea while it's hot. Ah, uh, yes, the famous saying from our home country. We both poured down our throats like it was a hot bath for our bellies. And at the time, you were both completely fine. As shown by the fact that he and Mr. Tramspear then engaged in the Romeo and Juliet <laughs> match. It's 
Well, the focus of tomorrow's proceedings will be how the poison was taken by the victim, then. He ate the soap! Hmm. The chance here. A rotten chance here. What have I ever done to him except in his drought? Yeah, you... I, th I think you, like, literally sm smashed him to the ground or something. You don't recall him taking issue with you over anything you've done recently? Like your opinion on Romeo and Juliet? I've grown up in my room, immersed in books. I don't recall anything. Anything at all! Right. But what I don't understand is why it didn't let me know sooner. What? That you're going to poison? Huh? What, Mr. Natsume? I didn't want to kill me! About the soap, of course. What else? The soap? Oh. I wanted I to get some free gas, what? too. I was struggling with such a me uh, meager stipend. Of course I am. If I had money, I wouldn't have chosen to leave when a curse existed. It's such a curse, flashing. Ah, uh, yes. You said it's because the place is cursed that it's so cheap, didn't you? Yeah, someone died there. Exactly. Especially in the room that I rent. The spirit of the capital offender who lived there still haunts the place and tries to kill me! The what? Capital offender? I thought, wait. Is what? Wait, what? Wasn't, wasn't the same room that uh, all these I, greens... What, yeah, exactly. I, th I thought I thought someone died in that room. Like, in that room. Not like capital offender would mean they would be... Would have been executed, right? Did he die before he was Ca executed? Ca capital offender? Capital offender. <laughs> <laughs> My yes, local student, Mr. Naruto Esquire, the next time you visit me, it is, it is in the jail. <laughs> you bring scores of super soft soaps. Soft soaps? Oh, uh, we're not gonna talk about Capital Offender? No. That feels like an important thing. Mr. Natsume, what do you know about this? I, I love that. Just, so, just show someone a, a piece of soap like, hey, do you know about this? <laughs> Have you heard about soap? Because <laughs> right. I think you need it. That leathery, leathery low life that my neighbor's life and sending me sliding to the depths of despair. You know he's not dead, my, right? My old nemesis. <laughs> you know he's not dead, right? Slippery, sickly, psychotic, sabotage. Psychotic, sabotage. Sickly? You've really gone off soap, haven't you? Absolutely. And they made up my mind. The next time someone gives me soap as a present, it's... Friendship finished firmly forever. Oh, man. Fuck you. Friendship with soap <laughs> cancelled. I don't know that we can blame soap for anything that's happened, Mr. Natsume. It was all that soap. Do you know about this? Ah, uh, Mr. Natsume, it's nothing much, but... Ah! He loves to let me offer a present with that, with that delightfully humble etiquette of a homeland. What? You're too kind. I accept it gladly. No, part that's of evidence. Don't take it. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't trying to give it to you, actually. Okay. It's a file. Oh, it's just... The cops? Is it just gonna be the nope. same thing? Yeah. You oh, can't okay. take the cops. I'm sorry, they're evidence. I feel that capital thing was important. Mm. What if it's the photo of the crime scene? Nope. nope. You don't know anything about gas. Oh, well, you, you, you don't have any money, so I guess you wouldn't know about that. Is it present? No. Oh. Uh, crime scene photo? Sure. Nope. Okay. Nope. Is it a present now? I oh, mean, oh, oh. There might be funny dialogue. I gotta try. Uh, no. Autopsy uh, report's not gonna uh, do anything. Uh, the list of his own books? Yeah. Oh, hey. Mr. Nutsman, hey. I bought this receipt. It, it occurs to me now. That it was those Confali books that saw me arrested the first time, too. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. Oh, yes, I suppose that's true. <laughs> After I spent my precious pennies on them, that's the thanks I get. Now I don't know when I'll read them. Oh, not when. If. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
I may mean, I hate them too much to ever go for the cover. Oh, I hate <laughs> those books. I hate them, hate them, hate them. I don't know if you can play for anything. Eh? Blame the books for everything that's happening, Mr. Nelson. Okay, you blame we that everything. 50% the book's fault, 50% the soap's fault. How about that? I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Have I shown you this before, Mr. Natsume? Oh, yes. The sweet sea model of Babylon donor. Did he sniff it? It shows that the wearer is a defense lawyer. It means nothing in Great Britain, of course, but I still wear it. <laughs> Oh, I don't exactly how you feel. Look at how Why am I yawning so much? <laughs> Haramaki Belly Band. I don't feel right without it. Your Haramaki Belly Band? Oh my god, he wears that old man shit. <laughs> it's perfect for the cold English winters. Just the thing to keep my tummy warm. The... Yes, I see the link. Almost. So I guess that's it. Like, ed ed editor me just like fade in a very faint image of Link. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. Editor me. Bye. In the future. Bye. I guess. Bye. So uh, should we go to the to the actual scene of the crime first to get more stuff? I was gonna go from out, go from out to in, but. I don't know. Well, yeah. The logical progression, right? The soap is still there. The I saw Scotland Yard picked yeah. it up. I thought you did. Uh, Examine? So, no, okay, no. no, no. Nothing, nothing new. All right. cool, cool. Let's, uh... What did you see, Mr. Snowman? <laughs> Mr. Snowman. Man me a snow. Snow me a man. Oh. Snow, snow me man. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Works both ways. Snow Mr. Snowman. Snowman. Rob right. me a bank. <laughs> oh, door. The Gerardo household and Mr. Natsuma's lodgings are in a prominent position there on the corner. Sometimes when I look at the building, I can't help feeling that it's a bit of a that it's had a bit of a slant. A bit? I mean, if you look at the the the, the little the what is that? That's not a. I mean, the building is okay. The column is fucked up. Yeah, the column is exactly, but it would be at a it would be because it's at a slant, right? It does rather look as though it would collapse in even the smallest earthquake, doesn't it? Well, good thing it doesn't earthquake here. And isn't it supposed to be haunted as well? It just that one just that one room though. I think I might have a hunch as to why I'm supposed to send such a hunched back. <laughs> He's mimicking the building. Oh, okay, well, I'm 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 glad for every screen that doesn't have anything for us to check out. So, uh, Shams Beer's room. It's funny how we offered so sicky the teacups, but if technically they're still here. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hello again, Inspector Gregson. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we were hoping to have another look around, actually. The lawyer representing the defendant has a right to examine the scene of imperial world. Yeah, I know the score. Ah, yes, one other thing. Uh, the soap on the ledge outside the window. Uh, did you find it? With the tea in it? Yep, I found it, alright. And there was a small amount of tea in it, as you said. I knew it. It's with the identification section in the yard now. They are looking into it. There is going to be a bit of all later today. Later today. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful news, thank you. Yes. Very impressive performance in the court this morning. Sorry. Man, forget it. Let's make sure I don't discuss everything in here. Was that an honest to god compliment just then? I'll just be here. Oh, I'll also be here. <laughs> yes, hello. Look how it is. Uh, look who look who it is. Uh is there anything new before I check out teacups? Hello. Teacups. Ah, the ill-fated teacups from which the two men drank on the ill-fated night. What is this, Dungarompa? <laughs> During their head literary the heated literary debate, yes. Who's stronger? Romeo or Juliet? Sounds like it was quite a discussion. Now I think of 
think of it, I'm sure that the two lovers in the play ended their lives with poison. Like I said, mm -hmm. but it, there was one fake poison in the play. Yep. Hmm. That's fiction, Mr. Sutherland. Let's hope it stays that way. I mean, like I said, it could have been a very oh, dedicated soap. performance. So. So it turns out that Mr. Shakespeare was eating the soap at all. Well, you don't know that for sure. <laughs> He might, have, he, so might, he might have still ate it, yeah. That's right. The mystery of why he had it on the plate whilst holding a fork in his hand is solved. Yeah, he chiseled out the ice coin. Yes, the price is laid his ice coin out of its mold. And in the process, he accidentally broke the bar of soap in two. It would have been freeze uh, frozen, you know. It certainly was hard to imagine, let alone to deduce. That's true. Gas Mateer. If you ran out of change, you wouldn't even have any light, let alone heat. Wow, well, we, we didn't even notice garage. that there is like the little bit of green of the wax thing on on his. Oh, there is. So there is. Yeah, You're right. It, it's it's so unnoticeable, but now that we know. Huh. Yeah, the puddle is there too. That's yeah. true. But if you think about it. Even the wealthy would find themselves freezing if they ran out of small chains. London's winners can be very harsh for the forgetful too, then. Frankly, I'm starting to wonder if the Satisfied and I are going to make it to spring. <laughs> That's true. We don't even have a meter at Baker Street, let alone a gas stove. Well, you gotta remember to buy firewood, then. Oh. Look how dark the stain on the floor is underneath the meter there. Yes, from all the water dripping out after the ice coins melted, as you established in court this morning. It's a very large and obvious stain, isn't it? Mr. Shakespeare must have used an awful lot of ice coins, I suppose. It's just never must dried have been a before. lot of gas. It wasn't a genius idea, I'll give him that. It never dries the floor after he melts the. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even bother. He's just like, eh, whatever. Are you looking for new clues, Inspector? I was looking for old clues, I'm sure. Lord Van orders. Yeah. Don't come back till you have got something for me. He says. Chesk. Sure. Oh dear. Who are you? Yeah, for me, because we already searched every blade and nook and cranny in this place. I don't know why he expects, to be honest. Thank goodness for warm chips, is all I can say. <laughs> warm and infinite chips. Yep. Well, at least he's honest. Well, let's let's uh, let's discover some new things, shall we? Sh nope. sh sh uh, was was, was the win is the window new? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. The sun never shines in this room thanks to that depressing bricked-up window. Yet, yeah, with enough determination. You can always remove the brick to set some soap aside. Aside, can't you? It sounds like a very wise life lesson, Mr. Sato. <laughs> Only if you plan to follow a life of crime, Mr. Sato. Uh, what? what do you, do you, do you, you're saying that lawful citizens do not want to freeze soap? Anyway. I mean, depends. Mr. Sholmes, what are you up to over there? I'm groping the hook. Anyway. <laughs> What's the question, indeed? Was it not your good self who asked me to attend the scene? Oi! What are you doing here, Shams? You didn't you notice you only, him yeah, you only just now noticed him. <laughs> are you left over here? What are you doing here? Dear me! Once a great detective, one is always under scrutiny, it seems. Is that the time, Mr. Shams? Are you about to show us your forensic talents in action as you promised? No! With the greatest of pleasure, my dear madam. Ooh. Whoa. Alright, everyone, put your science glasses on. Put your 3D <laughs> glasses on. <laughs> um, 3D glasses. W what's all this? That stain over there is semen. Very oh, clear. Oh, this is precisely what you requested, Mr. Narihado. 
Look out, he's got a gun. Sherlock Holmes, sensation of skin print seeker. Gun. <laughs> All right, let's go. Moments ago, with a silencer. Moments ago, I took a sentence from the speaker that was used by the victim. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a loud enough. A sample? That is a muzzle. For Mr. Shamspear's cup? Each individual leaves microscopic secretions on everything he or she touches. Or they. Hmm. A sample of those secretions is all I need to produce this. We finally indicate the solution. Hmm. I like the color of that. By liberally spraying the room with this chemical. <laughs> liberally? I shall, poison every, I shall poison everyone. Yeah. Everything the victim touched is instantly revealed with the aid of these goggles. Ah, goals. see, son, one day this will all be yours. Everything the victim touched. Looting a semen. Can you, can you imagine reading a will like the Liar King? <laughs> Here, <laughs> I'm the mom. Ooh. Oh. There. Now spray the chemical indicator about and all will be revealed. Spray? Oh god, how please do... don't let there be an actual semen stain. How, how did I do that exactly? That's just one of the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> ah. A little press, press of the A button on the area you need to see this is all that is required. Yeah, like very press. impressive. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, uh, what is that stuff? It's like fog. A suspension of the chemical indication in the pressurized gas. It's the most effective, efficient way to cover a large area. There was another invention I discovered incidentally whilst I was developing this idea. <laughs> As you do. Go ahead. Try it, my dear fellow. Come on. Do it. Let's go. Miller learn something to say about the victim's movements on the night in question. Come on. Do it. Let's go. Do it. Well, there's nothing to do this, Let's Come on. explore. Explore. You already did that, you did you? <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just use the entire thing. He does the same thing. Okay, you know what? That's <laughs> not the idea. Yeah, it was everything until it's over, and it's like, okay, now what? Uh, is, oh, is, is, is there. Oh, yeah. No, I was, I was just. It's very particular, apparently, where you. Where is is there spray. something in the throne room? In the throne? Oh, yeah, Probably yeah, on the yeah. T. Yeah, that's, I was gonna do that last. Wow. No, there is a lot on this room. That was a very. A lot. They really had a very heated uh, debate. It looks like. So there's nothing. Oh, oh. whoa! Hello. Oh. Oh, okay. Look, there are dozens of handprints here. I did not expect that. Yeah. Why would you? It looks like, it looks like a phasmophobia goes doing. Honestly, it where, looks like. Where yeah. he likes humping the wall. Exactly. It was like. It looks like slamming the wall over and over again. It looks like it was fuck doggy style there a lot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, there also, are many, many I, deep. I uh, also thought that I didn't want to say it, but yeah. yeah. A great many indeed. So much so that it's hard to make out any one individual fact. I, I don't think it's hard to make out, Shroms. It looks it's pretty easy to make out. All right. Take off the glasses. <laughs> Brr, it sends a chill down my spine. How am Wait, I seeing this? <laughs> I was about to say, Sato, you have to perhaps, glasses, too? Perhaps he was leaning against the wall while he admired this picture. Well, he got his ass ripped. Uh, likely, I would say. It's a rather dull scene, after all. And without wishing to state the obvious... <laughs> Which is? He got his ass rammed. No. Oh. I would have generally mind a picture from such close quarters, I feel. Okay, that, that is... He's nearsighted. Pretty true. Oh, very true, Mr. Sato. Bit of a mystery then. Sure is, yeah. We'll never know. God, that looks horrifying. Yeah, it, it actually does look like a crime scene now. Wow, hello. Well, yeah, so he, he, he definitely to put, touched both cups. Yeah, he has to put the box there too. Can I stop? Can I... If you're yeah, I think you can stop at any time. I yeah. Honestly, yeah. No, yeah. It, it looks was... like we got everything now, right? Like it reacted to that yeah, automatically. It feels like the import. It feels like the important part was is already done. Yeah, I think we got everything. Yeah. I feel like they probably will let you go back if there is anything else. I I, I cannot quit. It, it, I literally cannot quit. Uh, options. Up oh, there's more. Oh. Oh. Oh okay. look at all this here. Uh, a loose floorboard. Hey, we pointed that out. Mm -hmm. I, I remember us pointing out the floorboard. There we go. 
Yay. Oh, yes. Interesting. A multitude of the victims' handprints. Why are there so many of them on the floor in this one spot? Maybe he was Ooh. just really trying to forcefully put the, the <laughs> glove back. Perhaps he had a that's where he, that's where he really took it in the ass. <laughs> no, he was he was like ass on the chair and his, his hands on the floor. Right. There's nothing obvious that he would have tripped over though, is there? Yeah, I don't what think if he was though. just tap dancing with his hands? Exactly. I <laughs> Personally, I often stumble when there's nothing obvious to trip over. Uh... I think that's something only a great detective would do, Mr. Jones. Well, this is quite a puzzle. Handprints all over the floor. Yes, there's no obvious explanation. No obvious, no, no. No obvious Surely. explanation. Surely not. Okay, okay, now we got everything. Yeah, no obvious explanation. If you look at that, it's really, you can't tell. Well, we sprayed Mr. Trembles' amazing skin print indicator all over this room, didn't we? That sentence felt gross. Yeah, uh -huh. it was just okay. We did, but there are two places in particular that of interest, I would say. The crown and the This very inconspicuous floorboard. The handprints on the floor there and on the wall by the paint, uh, by the by the picture, you mean? Yeah. I mean, there's probably something behind the painting and something under the floorboard. So. Yes, I think the floor warrants closer investigation. I won't be a moment. But. <laughs> What is it, Mr. Sato? Look here, Mr. Narodo. One of the floorboards has popped out. I, uh, the, what I loved most about the the scene was the very tiny pan it did down and up to make room for the scene. <laughs> One of the... You mean... It's a secret hiding place? No shit. No shit. No shit, Mr. Sato. So, what are we having here? Oi, I am not doing. We're Investor Gator. The Inspector Gregson. Inspector Gregson. Dun, 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 dun. Inspector Gregson. Now, sorry, this minute. It's my job to investigate here. <laughs> no need, Inspector. You continue to dig in your portion of the chips while we dig around under the floor. <laughs> yes. Your fancy dog's spotting me off my foot anyway, Shams. Give me the evidence exactly what I need. Uh, we need evidence too, though. Wow. A secret hiding place under the floor. What a find. It's not a hiding place you can make use of in Japan. I don't think I could lift a straw tatami mat. <laughs> I mean, have you watched Naruto? I know, but I never expected one of these wooden floorboards to move either. Got me wondering about the wall over there too. Aren't you curious? Oh! 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 This is forgot. Oh, investigated once. Why does she get to do all the fun stuff? Yes. Sure. Nothing. There's nothing behind the picture, sadly. Only the wall. Hey, what about the hole? What about the glory hole underneath it? Yeah. Hmm. How disappointing and weird. But then how do you explain the handprints? I really can't think why anyone would have been touching the wall over and over in one place like that. Huh. Oh my god. Ow. Trolls, why? Flashbang! There you are. I picked for you. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Oh, sh dude, dude, the thumbnail looks horrifying. Even more horrifying it does. Than, the, than the scene. It looks even more like a murder scene. Oh. Faces of handprints of the wall discovered using the skin print seeker gun. Skin print seeker gun. Like, why is gun not capitalized, but skin print seekers? I think the, whole, the entire thing should be capitalized. There are multiple prints on either side of a hanging picture. Um. Oh, oh, thank you very much. This invention can make prints too. Now then, 
I wonder if Inspector Greg's has done anything in the floor there. I mean, he's just been staring at me. I'm desperate to know! The... So am I! Uh, okay, there we Move. go. Okay, let's uh, go. Let's go back to Sosaki. Hey, Gregson. I'd love to know if there's anything hidden underneath that floorboard there. Allow me to ask Gregson now. After all, we're, we're, we're good friends. <laughs> Back off! Why does everyone else get to do the fun stuff? Inspector Gregson, really? It's been too long. What is it, Sean? I don't be you my show me one of your. Oh. <laughs> 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 See, so we're such good friends. That's 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 one way to make him happy is by impersonating <laughs> him. <laughs> we're not friends, <laughs> you know. Exactly. That tracks. <laughs> we should have brought Iris. No, I suppose not. Good job, Shamus. He's being mean to me. A dismal failure. Yes, I heard. Oh, I killed him. That one's on the on the net floorboard. Yes. All right then. That's fair. What? You need this cover the hiding place after all. Oh, you're gonna share? I suppose I should at least fill you in. Um. Really, Inspector? Thank you. You can use the wall. Very quickly, my dear fellow. You can use the wall. There's only one thing I need to. Okay. I know to know about this man is that he blows. Okay. I know about this man is that he blows with the wind, as fickle as the weather. Uh. Alright, stop bringing me out to be some kind of nut. <laughs> there are three items under the floor there a newspaper clipping. Photographing thing in the tin box. Now, what do you want to know? Do I get to pick one? No, I get to pick all. Okay, newspaper clipping. Uh, okay. Looks like this was cut out of the paper about three months ago. About a convict. Oh, the. Mm. Captain died while he was serving time up in Manchester. Okay. How terrible. Is the guy Suzuki mentioned? Hmm. Made the headlines down here in London as well. Maybe. The bloke had been sentenced to death. You see? The nation got him first. Uh, okay, so that, yeah, that would be the guy probably. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he committed a capital offense? A man by the name of Selden. Nasty piece of work. Into burglaries and murder. Selden. Okay. I think the hoard he knocked off was worth about a thousand pounds. Ooh. A hoard? Of treasure, you mean? Jewelry and the like. But he hid it somewhere and no one knows where. And now he's dead. Oh, it's in Soseki's room. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Shakespeare is trying to kill him. In order to get it. Yeah. yeah. The favorite love of the a thousand pounds lost in route, to he in route to Hell or some such was the headline. So that's motive. Okay, oh. I was I was wondering what motive. Yeah, was yeah, that makes it's starting to make sense now. Does it not strike you though? Why such an article would be so carefully ensconced under the floor? No one can find out or read newspapers. I suppose now you mention it, it does seem I made out. Actually, no. Can we go back to Sosaki's room? Perhaps I'll go over the paper wall and we got to sell them back to the yard to see if I can turn anything up. I think we'll figure that out during trial, where yeah. the treasure is. No, it's not that we can find it, but just have a check because I don't oh, remember I anything I, about his... his I, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we can go if we can go there because that wasn't part of this this mm. chapter yet. Capital Offender article, a newspaper article about Selden, a criminal sentenced to receive okay, so, the death penalty. However, he died so of illness in prison whilst his loot remained undiscovered. So wait, uh, the illness was probably related to the gas then, right? If 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 he was staying in that room, yeah, but no. before, yeah. Okay, what what what's the photo? Okay. Oh, here then. Oh, the photograph I found looks reasonably recent to me. Yeah, that's probably Olive Green. <laughs> yeah, Oliver, Olive Oliver, Green. Oliver, Oliver, yeah, Olive Green. Olive Green's um brother, right? 
And it has the painting, the stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. It would appear to have been taken on, on the street in front of the house here. And the gentleman on the left is Mr. Garrison, the landlord, of course. But who's the young man on the right? Mr. Gerdip's son, perhaps? You've seen him before. Don't you remember? Perhaps you can take the print if you like. Oh, really? Oh. Are you sure? Oh, it's not important to the investigation, I'm sure, right? You <laughs> can presume, therefore, that the Yard <coughs> already knows. Oh. The identity of the young fellow, that is. You do as well. Ah, is that true? Well, we think we do. We just know we've seen him before. Oh, it's too bad if we do. Fortunately for you, Lord, I get information this is one of my best time. Can someone get Iris? As the inspector, if I may be so bold as to point something out. Pastimes are for one's leisure, but this is for work. Cool. All the more reason I'm not telling you. <laughs> I like all the music stuff. And Correct. Work. A dismal failure. Well, you can try. Yes, I heard. Hidden photograph. A photographic print found in Mr. Shamsby's room. It shows the landlord, Mr. Gerdo, together with a young man. Is it oh, a 360? Is there something written in the back? Uh, we can try it. Looking at it. I wonder why a photograph like this was hidden under the floor. I mean, Mr. Shamsby himself, himself isn't in it. Photographic print has a red, still red trash in the east. <laughs> exactly. That's why he hid it. I imagine Mr. Gardev was rather delighted to have been immortalized. He probably had made a proud present of it. Doesn't he own a painting of himself? And the box. One second. Oh, we cannot. Oh, it is, it is last two seconds. Well, we can look at the newspaper article, though. Condemned criminal dies of natural causes in prison. Manchester's Strange Ways Prison announced the death of convicted murderer and burglar Selden by natural causes in the early hours this morning. He had been suffering with fever since the end of October. Alerted by the shouts of his fellow cellmate, medical staff arrived to find him already dead before his capital punishment could be carried out. Who was his cellmate? Probably a Mr. Shamspear, if I would uh, wager a guess. Maybe? That's probably how he knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I assume right now. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not looking at the creepy hands, though. Tin box, what about that? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a biscuit. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's a biscuit box. <laughs> that have sewing stuff in it. Yeah, I was about to say that yeah, sewing. <laughs> <laughs> Might I suggest, Inspector, that you open it? If you want to find something inside that reveals the truth behind this case. <laughs> Welcome, this is Pandora, and hello for, to my new unboxing video. <laughs> I don't seem the least surprised. Yeah, funny enough, I've already had a look. It's empty, isn't it? It's completely empathy. Yeah, knew it. What? Jumpspear, give us a clue, man! Didn't we have the chance to utter a word, Mr. Nervalo? <laughs> but anyway, at least we found out what's inside the box. <laughs> a big fat old nair. Yes, the nair, it's empty. Rather like how I feel inside. Is there nothing more to this box then, I wonder? But we don't have the box. Meow. Meow. Okay, it's a cat. I am a hey, cat. Hey, it's him. I'm a cat. Hello, Sosiki. Where have you been? Oh, look. It's that little little kitty cat. What was its name? Mr. Natsumais, isn't it? I don't think we ever asked him, actually. Why don't we call it, um, the Wagai? You are like Mr. Natsumaru self to refers to himself in Japanese. <laughs> I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. You know, that nature. Nature. Uh, finds oh, a way. wonderful. Now then, what a hike. Here's something delicious I brought for you. For the cat's meat man. Wait, what? Why do you have something for the cat's meat that's, man? That's a very specific profession, too. <laughs> it's a bowl of texture. <laughs> yes. Shaved ice. It's a bowl of gore from Mortal Kombat circa <laughs> 1968. <laughs> yes. The Gregson's still on the floor. <laughs> you could be happier now, look. 
I just hope we can bring some happiness to his owner too. Ah, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, look at that. Aww, oh, that's, that's adorable. Making biscuits. Check the cat. Pat the cat. Check the cat. Hello. R slash pet kid. Can you pet the cat? Big stretch. Yeah. Yes, big stretch. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. My thoughts too. <laughs> Thank you, subsizes. What's a cheeky little meow wagga hi? Where have you been during the time of the bar? <laughs> oh, but he's so adorable. I can sit and watch him forever. Well, see you later. I think you may not appreciate that after a while. And we have an investigation to get back to. Well. Uh, uh, we just leave it to... Okay. We, we go to uh, Garadev, yeah, I guess, and ask him about the... He's jumped somewhere else? Uh, not here like, anyway, so... Okay. Yeah, we can't go to Natsume's room, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, we can't just go oh, to Uh, Garadev, um...